Hi, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Topps Cosmic Chrome Baseball. Or is it Topps Chrome Cosmic? I'm not sure. People have been saying it both ways right there. But anyway, six box, half case, pick your team number two, all card ship. Really nice stuff. Big thanks to this group right here for making it happen. Most of you buy your team straight up. Some of you won them in the team random. Thank you very much. Either way, however you got in, I appreciate it. Nick, you ended up with Last Spot Mojo with the Pirates. 70% of the time. Last Spot Mojo hits 100% of the time. Remember I marked those boxes too right there so you know that they're from the same case. And the next break, break three, will be from a fresh case. So check that out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Each of these half case breaks are about 30, 35 minutes. So we, we have plenty of time to fill and break another one, another Cosmic, if you want to. You can, you can get all spacey here and space out in this Cosmic. And these breaks are, are out of this world. You know, and these are one of those, I mean, group breaks, they're like reaching for the stars. Sometimes you get the star, but, it, but you might land on, a, on the moon. Very nice. Shoot for the stars, land on the moon. I'm okay with that. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. That, that goes for space exploration and group breaks. Listen, sometimes those adventures are not going to work out. Sometimes they will. And the reward... Pretty nice. The thrill of the chase, ladies and gentlemen. That is, that is mankind's nature. So let's see what we can discover here in break one. Watching listening to these breaks fuel me to get into some tomorrow. You going with like rocket fuel? You should have said, this, these breaks rocket fuel me into getting into some tomorrow. Makes me wanna, wanna blast into one of these breaks. And I, would, I feel like that would have worked. Fuel too generic. Jet fuel, rocket fuel, car fuel. So all card ship. There's, I'm a rocket arm, rocket arm. So, oh, also autographs not too common in this. It's one in every, about four in a case, give or take. So don't expect an auto in each box. We got a TJ Friedel, 45 out of 50, gold interstellar. That's right, Rex. Rex is just a little spaced out, that's all. Reds, that's going to be for uh, Chad, Chad Cromwell with that. These are about roughly one a box. This is Blue Moon, I believe, Anthony Rendon to 99. That's for the Angels. That's going to go to Chad. And the Julio Rodriguez. Let's try to find some parallels of these. This is for Chad Daw. Big fan of the Mariners, Chad. And maybe uh, can find some parallels of that guy. That'll go to you too, Chad. All right, box one in the books. Dennis, I can do one better. You're fixing rocket fuel. <laughs> You're fixing to rocket, put some rocket fuel onto that Prism World Cup break? I would love that. I would love to see that tonight. We need some help, though. The Team Random has 10 left. We're giving away six spots in them. In that Team Random. Six Team Random spots.
I've got a rocket arm, rocket arm, rocket on the rocket with a rocket arm. Ooh, LA Kings are up 2 1 on the Oilers. Oilers had equalized. A minute left in the second period. Not sure if there's any uh, crazy baseball news happening. Teoscar Hernandez got traded to the Blue Jays. That was a. Uh, That was the big transactional move. Uh, Justin Verlander won the AL Cy Young today. And uh, Sandy Alcantara for the Cy Young for the Marlins in the NL. Any chance, any chance that Sandy Alcantara wins a second or even third one? What does everyone think on that? And... I know Verlander's getting up there in age, but can Verlander win another one? Could he win four? His fourth? I think he won his third today. Could he win another one? That'd be quite, that'd be quite a feat. I don't, I don't know if... Uh, how many people over the age of 40 have won a, uh, a Cy Young Award? Hey, Siri. How many baseball players over the age of 40 have won a Cy Young Award? Doo -doo. <laughs> yeah, Shatner's Rocket Man. I guess at the time, I think that was... It's cringy now, but I feel like at the time people were like, whoa. Maybe, maybe. Redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? There's a blue 11 out of 99. Jazz Chisholm. That's for Miami. That'll be for Chad Cromwell. Like this uh, 18 out of 25. Casey Mize, Chad Cromwell with the Tigers. Went down with that elbow injury, but hopefully will bounce back strong. It's got a got a pretty uh, pretty high ceiling in my opinion. No guesses? Well, it's it's Wander Franco. Tampa Bay Rays Cosmic Chrome Autograph Variation. Ooh, Walter with the Rays. Congrats, Walter. Sign your cards, Wander, but congrats to Walter. Next box. All right, next. Nick Martinez and the Padres agree to a three-year deal. Those are, those are your exciting, exciting news. Angels signed Tyler Anderson to a three-year deal. The Oryx Buffaloes to, po to post uh, Masataka Yoshida. I don't know anything about him. I guess the Teoscar Hernandez going to the Mariners. That's actually a pretty big deal. Rockies acquired Nolan Jones from the Guardians. 
Rays designating Ryan Yarbrough for assignment. I feel like he was a pretty regular opener for the uh, for the Rays. Marlins to acquire JT Chagua and Xavier Edwards from the Rays. And oh yeah, no Anthony Rizzo. We already knew that news. Yeah, I guess. Martin Maldonado undergoing a sports hernia surgery. It's kind of uh, kind of all the news I have. Rangers hiring Will Venable as associate manager. I'm not sure who they hired as their manager manager. Winter meetings starting in a couple weeks, I think. I don't know where the winter meetings are this year. Hey Siri, doo -doo. where are the baseball winter meetings this year? The 2022 Major League Baseball Winter meetings are located in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, the winter meetings, is this the current article? Yes, November 4th, 2022. According to NBCSports.com. When are the winter meetings? The winter meetings are held from Sunday, December 4th through Wednesday, December 7th. Where are the MLB winter meetings? San Diego, at the Marriott Marquis in San Diego. I, I like that hotel. 36 out of 50, O'Neill Cruz. That goes to Nick and the Pirates. It's one of my favorite uh, hotels down there. I've stayed there. Pretty, pretty nice. And a J.D. Martinez autograph. He's a free agent. Where does he end up? He's getting up there in age, but could still probably help a team. That's going to go to Chad and the Red Sox. Still Red Sox edition here. Stargaze autograph. Anthony Rizzo, not changing uniforms here. That's going to go to Patrick and the Yankees, 33 out of 99. Wander Franco, Walter with the Rays. This base card going, going to pair nicely with that autograph. And Torque going to Chad Cromwell and the Tigers. Got a Bobby Wood Jr. for the Royals, Raymond, with the base rookie card. Let's see. Let's leave at least one of these up, but I feel like we, we got to look for those parallels. Where are those delicious, delicious parallels at? I actually want to see some, uh, some cosmic parallels, some out-of-this-world parallels. All right, Cubs got a player from the Rays yesterday in a trade. Miles... Mastro Buoni, Mastro Buoni for Alfredo Zaraga. I feel like I've heard of Zaraga, but I've not heard of Miles Mastro Buoni. Mastro, Mastro Buoni. That sounds like a, that sounds like an Italian sports car. What do you drive? Oh, I drive a Mastro, a Mastro Buoni. Oh, I see. Zaraga sounds like a car that, that Mastro Buoni would make. Oh yeah, I drive a Mastro Buoni Zaraga. That sounds cool, right? 
I'll try. I'll drive one of those. <laughs> or or a lunch meat. Yeah, can I get turkey, ham, some uh, master brioni, some provolone, lettuce, onions, some pickles, light mayo. Which, which sports car product name makes the best car name? Hmm. I don't think any. I mean, the, the, the product names sound cool for the products for sports card products, but for sports cars, mm, I don't know. Did anyone want to drive a, I guess if, if it was like a Lamborghini Cosmic, I'd be like, all right, I mean, it'd be kind of cool. It's Josh Hader, 48 out of 99. But then if you were driving like a Toyota Cosmic, that doesn't sound as cool. It just sounds like they repackaged the Yaris. And here comes your Toyota, your Toyota Cosmic. I thought that was Julio Rodriguez for a second. Yeah, I got order for So it depends on the manufacturer, I suppose, Mike. Like if it was like a Ferrari Cosmic, I'd be like, okay, you know, like an Aston Martin Cosmic, and I'm like, yeah, that sounds cool. But a Honda Cosmic here. Bobby Witt Jr. for the Royals, right? Yeah, like a Ford Sapphire. I don't know. Does that do it for you? Now, if it was an Aston Martin Sapphire, you know, now introducing the new Jaguar Sapphire, you'll be like, oh. Do that. Another Wander Franco. Oh, you know what, Chad? For you, that was a cool Kirby. You got that 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 galactic or neutron parallel on there. Where'd that go? Well, I think it's in this current stack right here. It was a cool Kirby. This is about one every box, but uh, what what hats are these? That's kind of a cool hat. What's going on there, Chad? There's JT Riamuto, seven out of fifty. I'm always how su I'm always surprised at how quick, how speedy JT Riamuto is. You don't think I don't think of catchers as as being, you know, terribly quick, but. He is. Here's a Torkelson for the Tigers, for Chad. That's just a base Luis Gill. Two more to go. You've never seen that hat in your life? What is that? It looks like, I'm, I can't really, the, the camera focus won't get it too close. If I had like a macro lens, I could, but it looks like it has a little pink underneath. Mother's Day, Patrick is saying. It kind of look, looks pretty cool. Mm, Chad's thinking George Kirby will win a Cy Young in his career. Yeah, maybe it is Mother's Day.
All right, the penultimate box. Maybe a breast cancer awareness month hat. I feel like that's usually, is that in September? Is it in the fall or something? Anyway, it's, a, it's kind of a cool looking hat, kind of jumped out at me. I guess I'm so used to seeing Mariners with dark caps, right? They're usually dark caps. Hey, Folks, if you want to do more of this, we've got, um, this is Pick Your Team 2. Pick Your Team 3, um, is is now in a filler so if you want to do that i could do another one of those i don't see any orders coming in right now and we're 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 at the start of the fourth quarter of the show but we got time to fill and break another cosmic chrome if you want to these pick your half case picker teams are only uh what we're at the 21 30 right now on the clock so they're probably about to clock in about 30 minutes or so Would I get a Dodgers Mother's Day hat? I, yeah, I would. I'm not a mother, though. <laughs> a mother effer sometimes. <laughs> they just got a hat like that. Um, I got too many. I got way too many hats. I I, I actually have to trim down my hat collection. Maybe I'll give away some hats and some breaks or something like that. New Mariner. Ooh, look at that. Is that red? Is that... Is that two... Five? It's Julio Rudius to 99. It's a rookie. It's a red. It's a Hoy Park. It's five out of five. What do they call this? What do they call you, Parallel? They call me Mr. Tibbs. Uh, they call me Red Flare. And the Rockets Red Flare. Five out of five Pirates. That goes to Nick. That is Last Spot Mojo. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo-woo. No, Joe Pizzle, not into this. Looks like Chrome version. You know what's funny that you should mention that? Uh, Cardboard Connection, whoever wrote the product detail blurb on Cardboard Connection, said the same thing. Although this is a new Chrome iteration, the set's overall style evokes Bowman's Best, Top's Finest, or maybe a Chromium Top's Fire. So you're not alone in those thoughts. Yeah, Patrick thinks a little Bowman's bestie. I don't mind it. I think it looks cool. I like the, I like I like space theme. I like uh, it's a little less busy than Top's Fire. It looks I think it's cleaner than Top's Fire. I feel like Top's Fire tried to do too much with with, uh, with their sort of like inserts and elements and all that. Try to mix in all this stuff and sort of a cleaner version of that. I think.
final box. Wow. That's a damning review. Joe Pizzle would rather break soccer. You know how Joe P feels about soccer. We can. Joe Pizzle, Prism World Cup. Prism World Cup is just, uh, what? Got 10 filler spots away. Mm, Mike Tower might, might agree with you. Mike Tower is thinking this is more like top fizzle. Not even fire, but fizzle, yeah. I mean, hey, thankfully, there's, uh, there's dozens of products that are released every year. Some you're going to like, some you're not. Here's a Julio Rodriguez rookie card, but I've not seen any parallels of this guy. Would have liked to have seen it. Maybe that, maybe like a five out of five. Maybe that red flare would have been nice. Corey Seager, Blue Moon, sixty-six out of ninety-nine. For the Rangers, that'll be for Patrick. That's a Julio Rodriguez launched into orbit. You know, a little while back, I went to a uh, a stargazing thing uh, just outside of San Diego. I got to uh, some people had set up a bunch of fancy telescopes around a dark field, right? And there's like a whole citywide event and stuff like that, some nature event. Um, looked through the telescope, I saw Saturn. It blew my mind. It was, it was that? Had the ring around it? You didn't see any color. It was just like a white dot and like a little thing. It almost looked like someone had put a sticker on it. That's how amazing it was. I was like, that's what it looks like. There it is. We've got some gold interstellar Christian Yelich. To 50. Brew Crew, that'll be for Chad C. We got some orange, Kevin Gossman, one out of 25. For the Bluebirds, that's going to be for Jeff. And what do we got in that last stack there? Last stack, last little stack. Bregman, Renfro, and Santian. There you go, gang. That was another half case break of 2022 Topps Cosmic Chrome Baseball. Brand new release. Just dropped today. Pick your team three. is half case from a fresh case. Get in on it. Look at that red flare to five out of five is strong. Remember, the autos are few and far between. But there's a JD Martinez. There's a Wander Franco. So my, my guess is that would kind of Hopefully, just by the by supply and demand, you would think that there'd be a little bump in value on the uh, on the autographs and maybe even the parallels too. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for the next Cosmic Break. Bye bye.